Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I want to talk about something a little different from the other stuff I've done in most videos. I'm talking about SEO and digital marketing and stuff, but today I want to talk about mindset. Mindset is such an important thing to conquer when you're doing anything entrepreneurial or uh, you're a solopreneur or you're self-employed or, <clears throat> or you know, you're just trying to take whatever you're doing to the next level. It doesn't even have to be work-related. It could be in sports. It could be fitness. Um, but it, it all comes down to mindset. And I'm truly convinced that the people who succeed are the people who are absolutely obsessed with what they're doing and they won't settle for being just average. Um, and so this ties into the idea, Grant Cardone talks about it in his book, The 10X Rule, about how you need to, be, like I said, become super obsessed with what you're doing and essentially compound your efforts, right? 10X your efforts in order to become great at it. And uh, so, for example, it is 7.32 a.m. on a Saturday morning. I woke up at 6, uh, had a little bit of coffee, watched a little bit of AFL highlights, and now I'm sitting down out here on my deck, about to get started on some work. And yes, it's a weekend, and yes, it's hard to get up, um, but you just do it. You do it because you have to, and I know that in order to be successful, um, you got to have a regimented schedule every single day. There was a long time where I would like sleep in on weekends and my schedule would be all over the place. And I found that I wasn't nearly as productive that way. When I'm consistent every single day, waking up at the same time, going to bed at the same time, basically, I'm, I'm better. I, like I'm better. I feel like I'm better at what I do. Um, I can learn things more easily. I'm more motivated, I'm more excited, um, I feel more accomplished. And I recommend that for everyone. If, if you're struggling trying to find a schedule and you feel like you're, you're not really where you wanna be, a lot of that's probably due to the, to the fact that you just, you need to set this daily schedule and stick to it. Um, I, I know it's tempting to wanna go out on weekends and and listen, you can do some of that. I'm not saying you need to, you know, jail yourself in the house, but you just need to have, you just need to, you just need to set a schedule basically. And, and you can still do stuff, but you know, just make sure you're getting to bed at a good hour. Make sure you're getting up at a good hour and make sure that you're focused on work. Um, even when other people aren't, because honestly, these are the times, this is why I love waking up early on weekends, because these are the times I feel I can get ahead of everyone else. Because how many people are up here at 7.30 a.m. making YouTube videos or, um, or you know, working on their business, which is what I'm about to do. So, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to make this just to kind of talk about that because I think mindset is so important. And I think, honestly, mindset is, in some ways, more important than the actual work you do. Um, especially when it comes to sales, because I think people can sense when somebody, someone's confident in themselves, when they're happy, when they're, you know, when they're kind of self-disciplined, I think you can sense that. And so if you're working with clients, having a schedule is hugely important, uh, right? Because you, you want to get up at the same time every day and start finding new ones, like start finding new clients. And uh, like, you know, you never... Uh, I, I think I answered a question on Quora yesterday. Someone was talking about um, how do you deal with the feast and famine of Upwork? Sometimes you get a lot of clients, other times you don't get a lot of clients. And my response was, well, you fix it by looking for clients when the when the getting is good. Like when you when you are getting a lot of jobs on there, that's when you should be looking for clients. Um, it, it's it's sort of like. Um, Oh, what was a good analogy? I can't, I can't think of it off the top of my head. It's too early. But um, ba basically, the idea is that, yeah, you, you want to you wanna look for more things when 
you're getting plenty of work. So that way, when you're not getting work, you have new things to give you work, if that makes sense. Um, you don't want to wait until you're not getting booked anymore and then be like, oh, I need to go out and find more work. Because then it's going to be way more difficult. You're going to be, first of all, stressed out. <clears throat> stressed out, excuse me, because you're not getting the work and you're low on funds or whatever. But you're also um, probably you're also probably not going to get the work quickly enough, you know, to cover um, expenses and cost of living and stuff like that. Um, and you just you always want to be in that rhythm of selling, of you know, trying to find more, trying to achieve more, even when you're doing well. Um, that's why I think when you're doing well, that's the best time to do it. So yeah. Anyway, this is the office, and it's a beautiful day at the office. So I'm gonna get to it, but. Yeah, I think having that mindset of that 10x mindset and that attitude of oh, I'm going to I'm going to work when people aren't working. I'm going to prospect when people aren't prospecting and I'm going to grow my business um, and and pass people who who aren't trying to grow their business as much or people who think they're growing their business when they're out partying and staying up all hours of the night when in fact they're really not building it a whole lot. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. And I'll see you later.